Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to be taking our templating even further by making a custom template for a particular page. So, let's say we have our About Us page. And on the About Us page, we've decided that this entire sidebar needs to go. In fact, we don't want to see it at all. Um, and let's just see exactly what that would look like. I'm going to inspect down here and I'm inspecting in the main div, the div ID of secondary. Of course, if we were to just have this completely disappear, I could select this and click delete. And this is what the site looks like without it. Um, now I don't want this information here, so I'm just going to get rid of that entire sidebar on this page. Now whether or not that's a good idea uh, is up to you. Um, but the point is here is that we have a, a modification that needs to be made to only the About Us page. Now, in the last video, we showed you that by copying and pasting or copying and moving a template file over from our parent into our child theme that we were able to successfully override it. Now, for this, we want to do the same thing. However, we're going to change the page's name slightly just or the template's name slightly so that it only affects the About Us page. Now. Again, like I said before, it might take you a little while before you know exactly what templates these all are. But because we're modifying a page, you can probably guess that the page.php is going to be your best guess. And now if I, you know, click spacebar or whatever on the Mac to get a preview, uh, you can see it just has our main page content and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and copy this page.php file into our child theme, just like we did before. Now let's come into Sublime Text here and let's open up our page.php. And like I did before, I'm just gonna throw an oddly placed H tag uh, just to see if we are in fact using this correct template. Come back to our site, we give it a refresh. And uh, I think we have it up here, it's just maybe white or something. Uh, let's come back and actually move that inside the main content. Let's grab this and I'm just going to throw it inside of this primary content div uh, just so we can make sure it we can even see it. Okay, cool. So here's our test, right? We only now want this on the About Us page. However, you can see if we go to the donations page and this other sample page, this test is still there. Where it's not is if we come to the home page or any of these individual posts because these are using different templates which of course we'll get into later. However, we're just talking about pages right now. And remember, there is a distinct difference between a post and a page. So now we want this to only show up on our About Us page. And uh, one way that we can do that is by simply stating that this template is for the About Us page. Now we can come into the uh, page itself and look at our our uh, URL here for the page, what the page's uh, permalink is, this about hyphen us. And we can rename the template. So if I click rename, page, and then hyphen, and then what our page's actual uh, URL name is, so about hyphen us. Now, this is going to replace that page.php. So our other pages are no longer going to be looking for this template file or looking at this template file. However, about us is still going to look here. So now I'm going to come back to my page, I'm going to refresh it, and you'll notice we still have test here on about us, but what we don't have is on donations. And we don't have it on sample page either, so now we're targeting specifically this about us page. Well, you might be wondering, how can you make a template that targets more than one page? Well, that's actually a really interesting idea, and it's actually really super easy. So one thing that we can do is let's go ahead and rename this once more. If you want to be targeting and having this template available to select whenever you use it, you can give it a different name, something that's more applicable to what the template actually is. So we can say no sidebar. We can save that. And then uh, what we want to do is come up to the very top of our template. And in the comments here, notice how I have these asterisks here. What we can say is template space name 
and then a colon, and then what we want the template name to be. So we'll say this is no sidebar. So keep in mind this is within the comment here, and if you're using syntax highlighting, you should see that it is grayed out just like the rest of your comments. So let's actually go ahead and remove the sidebar as well. If you wanna find out where the sidebar is, one thing we can do is always is we can right click and inspect, and you can see that uh, it looks like it starts just below this ending main content comment. And if we come to our template, let's scroll down to the bottom, you can see that this main content template ending is right here, and we have this git sidebar PHP call. So what we can go ahead and do is simply remove that entirely. Now let's click save, and let's come back to our page. You'll notice we refresh, and obviously none of our page changes have been made. So what we can do now is because that at the top of our template, way up top, we said the template name was no sidebar, we can now come in to the edit page screen, come over here and under page attributes, you'll be able to select no sidebar now or whatever you named your template. Now we click update and let's come view the page. And of course, we now have none of that sidebar content. Likewise, if we wanted to come to donations and do the same treatment, we could of course just click edit and now select that this no sidebar template is also used on the donations page. Let's click view page and there we have it. These two pages are now not using the sidebar. However, the sample page and any of our other posts will. Awesome, so you now have a little bit more flexibility when modifying page templates in uh, WordPress. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter at Level Up Tuts. We love to hear from you. Um, and just a heads up, we did launch Level Up Pro this week and Level Up Pro is a way for you to gain more features from leveluptuts.com and it's $8.99 a month. It allows you to download any of our videos in 720 uh, MP4. It allows you to view the site with no ads, vote in the queue more often, have access to a private forum. We're gonna be having code examples from CodePen on there soon and it's just really great. So you can come to leveluptuts.com slash level hyphen up hyphen pro. I'm gonna put the link in the comment or the video description and you can check out the features for yourself and sign up now. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one, bye.